Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful day. Welcome back to the library. I love talking about books that when you're done, you hold them to your chest and you just hug them and you're grateful that you got to live in that world for that time. And my friend, I've come across a book that absolutely surprised me. When I was only three quarters of the way through, I held it to my chest and actually had a tear in my eye from manga. It's never happened before. So I have to share this with you. I'll get to the part where it actually made me emotional. But first, I have to build this. My friend, if you love cottage core, if you love beauty, take a look at this. You can open your eyes now. As I expected, we made it in one leap. Welcome. This is my home. And as of today, it is yours as well. Oh my God, the art, the scenery. It is so beautiful. And then if you loved found family, here Chise, she had lost everything. She, she was ready to just give up completely. She had lost all of her family, all hope. And she found family. Look at this. As my apprentice, you're like family to me now, which means you can depend on me. I'm family? This is an adder stone. The hole eroded naturally at the bottom of a river. It will help to protect you. Wear it always. And then when the fairies came and tried to separate her from the Magus, she wouldn't go. She said, I, I found home. I found a family. And, and that started to move me, guys, because it was so beautiful. But then when it got to the part of Nevin, he's a dragon. And he's getting ready to lay down his life so new life can be born. And when a, a, a dragon dies, his body becomes the fuel for the new life. And, and one of the dragon keepers had put a, a seed of a tree in his back. And as he lay there and decomposed, the, the tree could feed from his nutrients. And he was so excited because he, he said, one day in spring, beautiful white flowers will bloom from me. And it was so beautiful. And then she says, she's already getting connected to this, to this beautiful soul. And he says, she say, I want to fly one last time. And, and she puts her hand on his cheek. And, and they, they share a memory of, of flying. And this old dragon remembers soaring so high in the sky and the bright sun up over the clouds. And then he thanks her. Thank you for sharing this last beautiful moment with me. And then he breathes his last breath. And my friend, my bottom lips started to shake and my eyes got wet and I had fallen in love with a dragon within like five pages. How? How? My God, I, I, I've read, I mean, 800 page novels that had to build the characters for so long where, where you fall in love with them and then they can break your heart. Five pages, my friends, and it broke my heart. I guess it's true. A picture really is worth a thousand words because there's so few words, but there's so much heart in the few words they use true words. It's absolutely beautiful. I still can't wrap my mind around. I just found this a couple days ago. And the only reason I picked it up because it had my name in the title and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. But let me show you a, a quick video when I discovered this at Barnes and Noble again. Watch my face. I had no idea what was coming.
little did I know at that moment, I had just found one of my all time favorite series. My friends, The Ancient Magus Bride. If you haven't got it yet, please go get it. And it is absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, it has magic in it. What else could you want? I love, love, love you.